I'm here at Masco now with Hayden Statham, brother of Jason. How are you doing? My, my body double, that is. <laughs> You're much older brother, Jason, of course. Of course, yes. Not as good looking. <laughs> Well, obviously, goes without saying. So tell us all about then what you're showcasing here at Fisher. Well, we've uh, got our composite doors like we had before, but we've got some new um, products coming, uh, which we've since uh, we were here two years ago. Um, big one being um, this uh, door here with a, a, a remote lock. Should we take a look at this? Because you're quite excited to show oh, this yes, to me. Yes, oh, we've got a little yeah. demo for yeah. you. Talk well, it, us through it, Well, it just behaves just like your car. So um, you've got your um, technical term, we might call it the whizzy waz. <laughs> But you've got I call it the dobber. <laughs> the dobber, well, there you go, whatever you call them. But you just take it up to the door. You've got the door near you're locked now. You're locked out of your house. You're coming home. Um, and uh, just like your car, we give it a push. And it hasn't opened. Jolly good. <laughs> it's technology. It never works yeah. when you want we'll it to. Hang on. We, we must have double pressed. There, there we go. There you go. And it That's opens up. Magic. It's by magic. It opens up. Um, and um, when you shut the door, you give it about five seconds. So we'll keep talking for a while. Yeah. And um, uh, a bit earlier, yet, but here we go. <laughs> and it's locked the itself again. Hayden, There's the our pressure. We excel. But, but, but there is more, so if you could follow me We're around it. Around. So we go back. Around here. As if you're inside your house now, so the handle always works. Okay. Brilliant. So you could always let yourself out, so fire regs and all that sort of thing. You know, you could always come in and get out of your house. But the big thing is, it's Sunday morning and you want to clean your car. If you go out and you haven't got the key, you lock yourself out of the house. Like Push do? that little button there. And if you were to whiz around the other side, which you won't, because the cameraman looks a bit... <laughs> the bit, may get a bit he nip. looks a bit old and slow, doesn't he? But, uh, How rude. <laughs> but, a young but the point is now, that handle operates. So you can't lock yourself out of the house. Okay. So you can see. wander in and out, you can do that. Um, and as I said, if you decided that, the wife's called you and said, Sunday lunch is ready. You want to make your door secure again? Just shut it, and you're back to onto our. Why is it the wife making Sunday lunch, Hayden? Well, um, in, my, in, my, in my house, that's what happens. Let's put it that way. I'm teasing, I'm teasing. I'm not all I, women. But I can cook a Sunday you. lunch. You'll let it pop round sometime. I'd love to. Yeah. This is quite amazing, actually. It, it is. Is there anybody else doing anything similar to this? Or well, this is quite had, innovative? No, we have had locks, uh, uh, we had a, a, a keyless entry before. Um, it hasn't been totally successful, and it wasn't because aesthetically it didn't look very nice. The great selling point about this is it just looks like a normal door lock. There's no bits, add ons, and at the end of the day, you still got, if all the thing goes Pete Tong, you can still go and put the key in it and unlock the door and let yourself in. So uh, that fear of, oh, well, I've got an electronic lock, it's great, I'm going to lock myself out of the house, you don't have that fear. That, that's been and gone. I was going to ask about that because obviously we've got the traditional looking lock here, so you do get a key to use with it as well. Yes, yes. But for those gadget fanatics that like to be at the cutting edge, this is pretty swanky, isn't it? It is, it is. And it, you know, it's the way in the modern world we go with technology, and um, I think I've had a lot, a lot of interest in this, and I think we're going to sell a lot of them. Um, because as I say, aesthetically, it just looks like it doesn't look any different from the outside, which the previous one we did didn't. Feedback's been great then so far. Very, very positive. Yeah, no, a lot of people, a lot of people. Lots, lots yeah. of sales then. Yes, yes, yes. I need that to keep me, get me employed. <laughs> don't we all? Don't yeah, we? No. So how are you finding the Fit shows so far then? It's day two. Have you been lovely and busy? What's been the highlights? Uh, we have been very, very busy, unindated. I have to say, um, as you can see, I'm not in the first flush. I've done a few exhibitions in my past. Um, I'm back to the 80s at the moment. I've not seen the aisles so full. Um, it's been really, really good. We were busy yesterday. It was the busiest first day we had. Today we have been unindated. We've been really, you know, catering has been really taxed on the stand and it has been very, very good. Uh, lots of customers, new customers and friends and faces from the, from the past around the industry, which I'm always happy and pleased to see. You can't say fairer than that, can you? No, 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 it's, it's very good. I just hope with the move they're looking at for next year and not having a year gap in between is the right move because I wouldn't want to spoil it. This is, uh, this is great, it really is. How are you feeling about the move to the NEC? Do you think this is a positive? I've got some reservations. Uh, I can see as a company we've had issues at hotel rooms because Telford isn't geared up for, or for it when there's a big exhibition on. I can see that you're bursting at the seams a bit. I can see why you want to move. Um, having done lots of the NEC before, I, I, you know, I do worry about how people will view it. Um, we saw the previous incumbents just sort of exhibitions drift away and not get supported by um, visitors and by um, exhibitors. So I just hope it's right. I can see why you've got to move. I've got my fingers crossed. Um, how do you feel about we're doing it next year? There's no gap in between. Um, if you're innovating with new products, as I've just shown you, can I come up with a new product for next year? And can all the other exhibitors? 
I asked the question. You may have the answers. I haven't. The pressure is on. I think the general consensus, having spoken to everyone, is that the Moose NEC is very positive. So we will hopefully, fingers crossed for that one, that's going to be great. Um, how important is the Fit Show to you as a, as a business owner? Well, being part of the Masco UK window group, we are, we are Phoenix Doors. We take care of the composite doors and the door panels of it. Um, it. It is a great vehicle for meeting your customers. It's a great peer for launch, a vehicle for launching new products. Um, and um, that's why I want it to be the success when you go to the NEC, because it, it's just, you know, to have this uh, to hand uh, and to be able to put new products on, um, it's uh, an absolute plus. Absolutely. Anne, are you off to the gala dinner tonight? I have my bow tie ready and raring oh, to go, of but uh, <laughs> yes, I just hope the cabin band is not too tight. <laughs> are you up for any awards or will you just be enjoying the frivolities? I should be enjoying frivolities, uh, yes, no, I'll, I'll leave all the clever stuff to other people. I'm ready for a drink. I'll bet. It's been a long old two days, hasn't it? Well done though, great vibe here. Hayden, thank you very much for your time and we'll speak to you soon. Thanks. Take care. Bye.